And there he is, standing there, wants to disgrace us out of this town centre. So I'm telling you, as working class people, like, the reason he can do that is because he's organised, and we're not organised. Do you understand me? They're organised, so they can come and beat us, knock us to the ground and chase us with the police, you know what I mean? Mike, Mike, come back here and tell them. <coughs> They've got no right whatsoever to stop you. They've got no right to do what he should be ashamed of himself. Right. Yeah, I give, listen, the reason we're here, right, is that the council are misleading everybody over the bedroom tax, the council tax, everything you can think about. And I've got some documentation, Paul, where are you? With me document. With me document. Right. Do you know when anyone goes to court about your bedroom tax or your council tax and you get a letter and all of a sudden you start panicking? Just keep quiet a sec, lad. You start panicking about the letter that he sent you. Mike, Mike, if you don't mind, please. You see this document here? It was sent to a chap. That he, his case was heard 28th of June in that magistrate's court over there. And he was £60 cost. And all what he's got to pay. Do you know what? It wasn't signed, it's not legal. Two, it's been closed for 18 months. How can you be in a court that doesn't exist? How can they send you documents out that they don't sign? How can they send these people here to harass us when you know quite well? We've got every right to stand here, all day, all day, all day. The question was, have I got a right? I've got every single right in this country yes, to stand yeah. where I yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. They don't tell me. They don't tell me. You, listen, you have these people enough. They've got life right on the common law, on the law of England. Don't come to us and try and get us and things like that. Just go and do what's right. I know the law.